Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to jailbreak your Fire Stick with the help of the APK Time application. APK Time is an alternative app store which has thousands of apps which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. There are lots of different categories in this app store, such as top APKs, Android TV, Animation, Entertainment, Essentials, Free VPN, Gaming, Graveyard, Cody Forks, Live TV, Music, Players, Browsers, Premium Services, Sports, Tools, and so on. YouTube does not allow me to show you what apps are available inside those categories, but trust me, you are going to like those apps when try the APK Time yourself. So now, let me show you how to get APK Time Alternative App Store to your Fire Stick. First of all, we'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device, and here in the search bar, start typing Downloader. As you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So here they are. Then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. Here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. Now as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. Then just go back, and the developer options now have appeared for you. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here, turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily those which are only available in the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, let's go to the list of apps on our device, here it is, open it, and there's the loader app, which is set up and ready to use. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Denmark right now, and from the moment we connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your computer or your mobile phone, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal with 3 months for free for NordVPN. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you 3 months of service for free. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's open the loader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, that's important. And here in that search bar, we'll have to enter a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907, and then we have to click on Go. In a couple of seconds, a website is going to open up for us. And now when the website has opened, you have to scroll down a little bit until you see that list of categories. And from the list of categories, we have to click on App Stores. Then scroll down a bit until you see that list of apps, and from here we have to click on APK Time. So let's click on it. Then a new web page has opened for us, which we also have to scroll down. And keep scrolling until you see those download buttons. So we can use that button, but if for some reason the download does not start for you, you can always use the backup download link. So now let's click on download right here, and wait until the app gets downloaded to your device. As you can see, that was really fast. Now we click on install, after that click on done, so we could delete the unnecessary installation files from our device. Here just click on delete, and then delete once again. Now we'll have to go to the settings once again, so let's do it, here they are. 
go to My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and now turn that option for APK time as well, so we could use it to install other apps from the internet. And now, after you go to the list of apps on your device, scroll down and at the bottom you'll find the APK time which we just downloaded. Just don't forget to use a VPN to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can use my link in the pinned comment below or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get 3 months of NordVPN for free. And that's it for today, if the video was helpful, make sure to click on the like button and see you next time, bye bye.